Pastor Bob. Welcome to another edition of Pastor Bob Daily. Right behind me here is my bank, and uh, they have all of my millions stored in there. <laughs> Except that isn't true. I wish I had millions or even thousands. I don't. But all the money I do have is stored in that bank, and, and I trust them to a certain degree. You know, I've been there for a long time, and uh, they've taken good care of me and good care of my money. And uh, I know the people in there, and they're courteous and ask me how I'm doing. And if I'm traveling, uh, they always recognize when I come back and ask me how my travels were. And I have a, a relationship with them in this bank. But, you know, even though I trust them, I realize that trust is an interesting word. And honestly, no institution uses the word trust more than banks do. <laughs> in fact, many banks have the word trust in their name. Right up the street over here is a bank that says Trust and Savings Bank. You see, they're both trust and savings. Well, the banks tell us to trust them. They even use the name in the, in the word. And, you know, we, uh, we realize that that trust is not always secure because banks around the world are closing down and people that trusted them have lost everything, some of them. Well, another place that we see that that trust is right here on our money that says, in God we trust, on the back of it. Now, what about that, in God we trust? You know, how much do we trust in God? Well, it's interesting that it says, in God we trust, on the back of money that we probably trust a little more. But do we really trust God in that way? Do we really trust God with our finances? Do we really trust Him with everything in our lives? You know, the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. So there's a good thing that happens when we trust the Lord. But trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Now, I, notice it didn't say trust in the Lord with all of your brains or your mind. Because sometimes that doesn't work, does it? Or even trust in the Lord with all of your emotions. There are those days when you're saying, Lord, where are you? What in the world are you doing? <laughs> Ever felt like that? But it says trust in the Lord with all of your heart. I love the fact that God captures our hearts. And uh, when he captures our hearts, folks, he captures everything else. So trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Ah, uh, there's a key, isn't it? Does that mean it's just blind trust? No, because it's not coming from your head. It's coming from your heart. In other words, where do you find trust? Well, the bank that I trust. I trust mentally. Um... When I have a good friend that I really love, I trust them emotionally. But the Bible says, trust God with your heart. In other words, that's where he lives. And that's where your faith and your trust begins. So we kind of trust God in a whole different way. We trust him with our hearts. So today I want you to think about that. You know, it's not just trusting a bank or trusting our money. But it's trusting God with our hearts. Here we are again. Trust the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your paths straight. God bless you. Have a great day.